one action. Who will emerge victorious in the Battle of Baku? Well, we're just about ready to get underway, so welcome to the Azerbaijan Grand Prix. With 20 turns and a length of 3.7 miles, Baku City Circuit in the heart of the Azerbaijan capital is a real test of a driver's endurance, patience and precision. 90 degree corners through sector one lead into a tightening uphill sprint as we start to circle around the old city. Then a 1.4 mile chase flat out through sector three towards the finish line. Anthony Davidson joins me once again in the commentary box. And it's fantastic to have you with us here today. But I'm curious, as a man with experience out on the track, how do you stop those pre-race nerves from becoming overwhelming when you're lining up on the grid? Well, from the moment qualifying's over, you start to feel the adrenaline in your body build up and the buzz in your stomach as you anticipate the run down into turn one. It's all a bit like going into battle. And the unknown situation makes you nervous. Those pre-race nerves are a good thing. The day you don't have them means that you don't care anymore. And of course, you have to make sure that all the procedures are second nature to you so that they're not taking up too much of your capacity. Let's run you through the driver grid order for today's exciting race. An immense lap from Lewis Hamilton yesterday puts him on pole position and Valtteri Bottas will line up alongside. Looking down the rest of the grid, we have Norris, Perez, Daniel Ricciardo and Vettel, Stroll, Fernando Alonso, Gasly and Charles Leclerc, Sonoda, Ocon, Carlos Sainz and Raikkonen, Giovinazzi, Russell, Mick Schumacher and Nicholas Latifi, Mazepin and Max Verstappen completes the grid. Now, it's almost time for lights out, so let's go down to the track. Okay, here we go. I know what you can do. Don't let me down. The virtual safety car has just been deployed due to a buildup of debris on the track.
Okay, gap ahead is 2.4 seconds. Front is 2.5 seconds. Okay, pick up rubber and bring it home. Here we are then, it's victory in Azerbaijan. Great work from the whole team here at the track and back at the factory as well. And some pretty handy driving for good measure. Anthony, tell me, what was it that helped them achieve this success? Well, I honestly feel it was down to the driver and car today. I mean, we can talk driver skill all day, but if you don't have a solid team to back that, you're never gonna get anywhere. When you hit that sweet spot of having both an excellent driver and an incredible car, that's when you see results like those we witnessed today. Mercedes are on top form once again after an excellent race weekend. It's great to see them up on that podium once again. Day. Anthony Davidson, who do you pick? Often my go-to would be a driver who's managed to pull off an especially impressive feat during the race. However, in this instance, I was more impressed by Max Verstappen's solid, clean driving throughout the event. Well, Ant, an end to another fantastic weekend of racing. Thanks to everyone who joined us, and we'll see you for the next one.